But shut the Irish. My name is Kalman. Welcome to that Russian gamer guy. Oh my gosh, I really hope you all can hear me. Uh, my mic was off. Uh, I mean, at least the volume. Um, happy Saturday, everybody. Happy weekend. Uh, Clonified, I see you. Uh, have fun at your meeting and thank you for checking in. Uh, Patricia, what's up? Uh, I'm so happy you're here. Yes, I'm super excited for episode number two of the council. Uh, I was so stunned with how uh, episode number one was. Uh, it was so good. Like intriguing and so much fun. And it's very, very well done. And I love all the characters. Like they're real characters, but it's also, also um, not a real story. So we're having so much fun here. Yuki boy, what's up? Good morning. Uh, I'm glad to see you. Let's go ahead and start um, episode number two. How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. That's a start, Mother huh? has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs. And Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Why they put her like this? Monsieur de Richet. I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. That's a start. That's a fucking start. What just happened? Is this episode number two? Oh my gosh. That's a freaking start. All right, guys. Uh, so yeah, if you don't remember episode number one, so our main character and his mother, they be like Mr. and Mrs. Smith investigating stuff, solving the mysteries, and then one day his mother went to some investigation by herself, and she disappeared on this strange island, so we're here and we're trying to look for her. Uh, that's what's up. Um... Oh, it's already evening here in Germany, Yuki boy says. All right, then good evening. I really hope it's gonna be a nice thing before you go to sleep. Uh, let's see, manuscript to equip. We have two manuscripts that we can equip. Ooh, encyclopedia. Ooh, shit. I love it. Looks how so many skill points it gives me. I'm equipping it. Uh, etiquette, conviction, or politics. Let's do etiquette. I want to be nice. I want to be polite and cute. Start quest. Hold space. All right. Lord Mortimer's office. January 22nd, 1793. That'd be long time ago. The council. Episode 2, hot and sick. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. But an act of horrific violence occurred during the night. And I do not know if this is linked to the disappearance of Sarah. So we finally met Lord Mortimer. Um, I do not know if this is linked to the disappearance of Sarah. What do you mean a link with my mother? Um, I mean, this guy? If there's a possible link to my mother, I, I hope you'll let me know. In the early hours of the morning, Elizabeth Adams was found dead in her room, savagely. Mutilated with a knife. That not me, I was sleeping. I'll get straight to the point, Louis. According to the initial elements at my disposal, you were the last person to see her alive. Yes, last night we... Uh... Do you suspect me? 
I want you to tell me everything that happened last night and leave nothing out. Tell me, how did the evening begin? It was cute. I was trying to choose if I want to be with my lady Elizabeth or the other one, Emily. That's it. I was with Duchess Hillsborough, yes. Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came up to us. She was in a state of panic and assisted that she needed to speak to me. She said she feared for her life. I took my leave of the Duchess and followed Elizabeth to her room. Mm -hmm. Continue. She tried to make she me drink. She have a drink, without which she refused to confide anything. What exactly did she want to speak about? She said something serious. Uh, Patricia, I think it's a good thing you didn't drink with Elizabeth. I have a feeling it was poison. I'm 100% sure it was poison. Something completely effed up would happen if I drank that stuff. So, about her childhood with my mother, she thought she'd seen my mother. Who's whistling? What the fuck? Do you guys hear it? Who's whistling? That's so weird. I have a very important conversation. Stop whistling. Uh, so, uh, she thought she'd seen my mother. She claimed she saw my mother the previous evening on the cliff, if His I remember eyes so beautiful. Correctly. Interesting. I will send someone as soon as possible. But do go on. I refused to go on drinking with her. She already seemed drunk and her conversation became confused. So, then she ordered me to get out. If only I'd stayed. Don't blame yourself, Louis. How could you have known? But thank you for this new information. No worries, Louis, my man. I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. Oh, let him finish. I must reassure my guests, and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask for your help. Why is that? You met Elizabeth. You spoke together, I believe. She trusted you. Listen, Louis. Find out who could have committed this murder. I refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who is responsible for this. And I trust you. You have my backing. You must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? All right, Daddy. H how would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Yes, investigation time. Are there any suspects? Any detail about this tragedy? Go there. Um, how does he know if there are any suspects? How does he know any detail? Okay, let's ask about details. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. That's the only right thing. Um, let's go. Right. I'll get over there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. And Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. They've all been notified and they agree. Look at me, I'm a freaking detective now. Gee, this fire looks so nasty. All right, ooh, there's something. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Oh, uh, change first letter. Arson. I don't know. C. Louis. What if Louis? No? I don't know. Zeus! What if Z Zeus? Zeus! Zeus! I'm telling you it's Zeus! Oh no, there's no way. Oh yeah, I don't know the freaking ladder. Uh, the combination. We gotta figure out somehow. If you guys have any ideas, let me know, let me know. Um, I just trying to pick up some stuff. You see? Key was an occult water symbol. Hey, yo. What is this letter? Why cannot read it? Occult water symbol? What? Let me talk to this monsieur. After I try to open this chest. Oh, I cannot open it. What? 
Leviathan. That's a picture. The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Oh my gosh, so much stuff to pick up. I love it. What the fuck is this? Who's screaming? Oh, that was this bitch who was screaming and saying stuff. Gee. Okay, I believe it was Zeus. Oh my gosh, yes! That's the correct way. Some why I thought it was a U after a Z. <laughs> Dante's Purgatory. Let me try one more time. Zoom to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub. The Wait, where is it? Attain its final form. Let's see. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Zeus, Zeus, yes. Oh. Fuck yeah! Amber fragment. Okay, that's not much, but at least something. Patricia, thank you so much. I was like, really, I <laughs> misspelled it in my mind. Uh, let's talk to that Pope guy, whatever guy. What's up, Monsieur? How are ya? Your Eminence, I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams. Which oh, is the dead. tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, uh, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's uh, probably nothing. Okay, does he know why? Anything else? Not to worry, Your Eminence. If he is innocent, then he has nothing to fear. Do you know why Monsieur Bonaparte was hanging around her room like that? Well, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that the dashing young soldier had become infatuated with a fragile young woman who looked... A bit lost. Ay, 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 Monsieur Bonaparte. Very warm welcome. Bonaparte and Adams? <laughs> but they didn't even know each other, did they? I couldn't say. But if I were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Peru. You remember how violently he set upon Miss Adams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't, don't like worry. that guy. He's on the list of suspects. I freaking don't like that Monsieur Peru. Um, okay, we got some key, and we are ready to leave the room. Let's go and explore and investigate. Investigate Adam's death. Gee, I love investigating games. Jesus Christ, hey! What is this? I cannot enter this room, unfortunately. The music is cute. We're gonna go right, because I always go right. I never go left, as y'all know that. I'm just trying to loot all the stuff I can, cause why not, right? Opa, here we go guys. Whose room is this? Monsieur Peru, here we go. What's up Peru, you wanna go? Oh motherfucker. What do you want from me, Deriche? Interrogate you, bitch. It's fallen to me Cut that... the crap! Get to the point. We both know why you're here. And have you got anything to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. Um, he doesn't look well. <laughs> wait, 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 guys. Let me see. Character. So, no, journal. Monsieur Peru. So, vulnerability, etiquette. But to be discovered, I don't know. Psychology. Let's try psychology. It's never too late, sir. If you have something to say, now is the time. You yes. don't understand. Vulnerability. Everything's already written. It's over. Why is he behaving like the perfect culprit? What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No, you don't. Well, then tell me. You're a freaking suspect. A pattern with four circles. Do I have a key? Let's unlock it, why not? It costs zero to unlock it, so it should be fine. Oh, wait. Let me see. Uh, one second, guys. I'm just trying to see the chat. Dear Monsieur okay. Peru, 
I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister marie Allen. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Oh, no space left. Okay, so uh, when they said that the children you sent are doing marvelously, I it kind of reminded me of that game that we played recently. It's called The Tape. If you haven't checked it, check it out. Uh, I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. They were like doing some experiments on kids but this one it looks like it's all nice it's orphanage or something massacre of the innocents but by van harlem i think that mortimer likes to play mind games with his guests all right what about l booty games i don't know <laughs> are you gonna read it now okay i don't know if we shall meet again at this point in time i'm a prisoner snared by my own decisions you must be protected. My future is lost without you. You can still be saved. No matter how much bitterness you hold against me, you must know that I made a pact with the devil who I thought I could master. I thought I knew the monsters, but what I did for France is nothing compared to what they are capable of doing. Now I can't see any way out. The jaws are closing upon me. I love you now and forever. Maybe that's his final letter to the girl. Maybe he loved her. Maybe that's why they fought. Unlock, unlock. Great. Honey. Honey! That's it? There's nothing else. It's another picture. Um, let me see. What else do we have in his room? That's a freaking nice room. Oh, he got some books. Records of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. Man, there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. Hey, I got something. Valuable. Okay. Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais, and will take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel, where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests, so you can meet up with me on my island as quickly as possible. I await your arrival. Lord William Mortimer. Alright, so that's the invitation letter. Cute. Oh, I love this color! I love this color combination, guys! Uh, blue and gold, it's the best! Feels like royalty. Also, my favorite col color is purple, like this one. Look at this bathtub. Oh yeah, there's nothing else. Maybe something outside. And if there's nothing, then I'll just talk to Monsieur, and we will be done. What's up, baby? All right. Have you finished? I am. Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Oh yeah. Do you enjoy hitting women? Oh. Two days ago, I surprised you having a go at Miss Adams. What happened? Did you want to give her another beating? She wouldn't let you push her around again, huh? Shut up, you little shit! You have no idea what happened, and here you are, carping away! You think you're investigator of the year! Have you taken a look at yourself, Dorische? Didn't you get enough beating her black and blue the last time? I did not! I mean, okay. Continue. Unfortunately, I don't have logic Go on. to do that. Keep going. Finish what you came to do, then get out of my room. Oh, uh, do you enjoy him? Uh, I found his letter. Let's talk about it. Oh, yeah. I'd like to talk about the letter you're writing. What woman is it addressed to? Who Gio, what's up? Woman? I'm not saying any more. There's no point you insisting. Good to see you. How you been? We just started, so you... Didn't miss anything, to be honest. Uh, okay, this is it with his room. Let's go and check some other guests. Because oh, this one, Napoleon. Ooh, let's check his room. He 
kind of likes me. We had a nice conversation with him. But I already checked his room before, I think. Here he is, all sad. I cannot get outside. So let me just see what's in his room and that's French gonna be it. Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in it. Yeah, it's okay that uh, his gun is missing because she wasn't shy, she was stabbed. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. I kind of feel like this Lord William Mortimer is the main evil guy because he's so sneaky. My dear son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. All right, sweetheart. I really hope she's not supporting fucking war. It's a beautiful weapon. A lovely damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Make love, not war. That's what I say. Search. Vigilance. Unfortunately, I don't have vigilance, so I cannot search for it. Uh, this is his hat. I already checked it last time. Cocade. It must belong to a French soldier. Okay, bonjour. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. You don't look busy. You look like you're just tired and chilling and screaming. He was seen lurking around Elizabeth's room. Oh. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Did you Lord kill her? Asked me I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Well, with who? Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, and his eminence, Piaget, as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. He sounds like an old man. Did anything happen out of the ordinary? Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all. Except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. Alright, he's a gambler. Uh, did anyone leave did early? Did you leave during the game? Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, <sighs> couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go up to bed. No, On bitch! On to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really, no. My man, you were sneaking! At her door! Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Yes! Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste, and I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. 
I could have helped her. I mean, she was possessed. She was drunk. She's crazy. Is he sincere? Let's see uh, what vulnerabilities he has. Uh, Bonaparte. Immunity to conviction and politics. Psychology. Let's try. I've been studying him for a while now. And I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. It must surely be his military side. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. Okay, so Bonaparte is clean. That's okay. Well, have we finished, monsieur? We. Oui. Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Good day, my man. Gio, what exactly is your question? Here we go, effort points. Wyatt, good to see you. How you been? Oh my god, so nice to see you. Um, okay, next room. So we already questioned two people. Let's see who next. Just trying to loot everything I can. Fru oot. La 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 la. Oh my gosh, I want some apple right now. Uh, who's this room? Emily, Emily, that's my girl, that's my girl. Ooh, she has a nice room. Alright. I miss sugar pink, lick a lick a lips. Heal me with your sweet love, still me with a kiss. I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should under no circumstances hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. P.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Okay, so she says Sarah was her friend. My mama was her friend. Maybe my mama didn't want to kill her. It's just a vision. Uh, Wyatt, I have been good. Why, uh, how have you been? I've been good. I'm so happy all the time when I'm streaming with y'all. Ah, uh, the artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least une partie of it. Oui, puisqu'il faut choisir un mot d'où je peux le dire. Son contrefaçon, je suis sa garçon. A letter from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Oh, she mm, knows how to play big. Actors. She knows Madame, how to play big. Thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but. I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt. Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Sweetheart, if you raise taxes, my mental situation is gonna be slowing down our whole process of playing this game too. Uh, anyways. Two coils circle the lock. Use the key unlock. Unlock. Oh ho ho! He not playing here. Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which, to my mind, makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. See you soon. 
Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Oh yeah, I think Emily, she just works for big people trying to spy on the I others no space and doing all, all this stuff. Uh, Wyatt, I have seen your workouts on TikTok, they are really useful. Oh, thank you, I really hope uh, you're doing it and it helps. Uh, it's good to hear that. Uh, Geo, Red Dead Redemption story mode or online? Story mode, 100%. Word from William Pitt the Elder, addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm sorry, I'm trying to see the chat. Something is up with my laptop and I cannot see a stream is glitching on my laptop. Okay, so here we go. Hashbeek, what's up? Good to see you. Uh, nothing really happened yet. We just investigating or interrogating all the guests. Cause we finally met Lord Mortimer and he says he trusts us. So he wants us to see who is the killer. Search vigilance. I need vigilance to search things, but I don't have it. Okay, let's talk to her Let's talk to her at least we are not arrested. So that's good golden elixir. I Need more honey Hello Duchess What can I do for you Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. <laughs> Why do you funny? You hear I know it's crazy what happened to Elizabeth. Yes, we all did Rumors spread quickly, you know. Cherry. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Um, stabbed nine times. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. What's her vulnerability? Um, Emily. Psychology, logic, immunity to logic, and this one is psychology. Death came quickly. You can be assured of that. If such a senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act, don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh my nine god. Nine times! How awful. Like Fahrenheit! The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Um, let's see. Where was she last night? Make her speak about the night of the murder. Diversion. Locked. I don't have it. What was her relationship with Elizabeth? Let's ask about that. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I... I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. Okay, where was she last night? I'm now night? interviewing all the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Just so that I can cross you off the list of suspects, can you tell me what you were doing on the night of the murder? Am I given to understand that I'm on the list of suspects? Everyone is don't on the, the list. Wrong way, but I must consider every possibility. Yep. Well, if you absolutely wanted to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me, you know. I know. Uh, no. Especially since I couldn't prevent the murder, even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You. You're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? The fact is, I don't have a choice. But I will find the murderer. I owe Elizabeth that, at least. But she didn't say where she was last night. What the heck? Emily, you sus. Um, 
Hajwik, so our sim's gonna be next game. Uh, yes, I, I mean... Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. We're gonna be playing Sims, and we're also starting tomorrow, Bully, by Rockstar Games. I'm so excited. Supposed to be a great, great game. Uh, so don't miss it tomorrow. Why, uh, the character reminds me of Adrian Brody. Yes, he does. Look. That's funny. There's something, definitely. There's something. Rusty Slav, what's up? Thank you so much. Have a Do great day. Godoy. Godoy. I don't know who that is. It's closed. I cannot enter it. Uh, Geo, yes, I do some workout videos on uh, TikTok. Um, check it out. Try it. Let me know what you think. How it works for you. This is my room. Monsieur Louis de Richet. I don't think I should go to my room. Oh, Cardinal. Somewhere I cannot enter his room at the moment. Who's this room? I think this is the president's room. Monsieur Washington. Yes, Washington. Here we go. Let's interrogate Monsieur President. Wow, it's so white. I love it. Golden elixir. Jesus. I can't drink too many elixirs. I think there's like... For permission. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. Decipher the letter. I don't have politics. Jesus, I cannot do that. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend. Me. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, well, let's see his bedroom. There's nothing really, huh? Is this him? Portrait of George Washington. It's his portrait in his bedroom. All right, Monsieur Washington. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Wow, that's it, guys. Like, we didn't find anything useful in his room. That's crazy. Oh, here it is. I almost missed it. Unlock. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Okay, Carmelite water. Let's see. Hello. Greetings, Liam. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. What if it's you? Um, he looks like he's grieving. Vigilance, I don't have vigilance. Etiquette. Uh, let's see what's his vulnerabilities. Journal. Washington. Immunity, politics. Immunity to politics, but to be discovered all the other ones. So I don't want to risk it. Um, had he spoken Tell to me, her? Tell Mr. President. Had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Okay. Anything else? Do you know if she had any enemies? Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry. But that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt... I wouldn't leave any door unopened. And I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. Countryman or not, I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. No one's... Do you know why she came to the island? To get help, if I'm not mistaken. 
Isn't that right? Yeah, I think they were Indeed. saying... Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer to see if he could help her. She was under some... Uh, medicine treatment, I don't know. Um, let him finish. Yes, Lord Mortimer has a talent for healing, apparently. I'm not surprised Sir Gregory advised her to come. Agreed. Does he know why she was here? Uh, okay, we don't have anything else. Should I risk this guy? Let's risk it, why not? I'm talking to all the guests to find out who has an alibi and, well, who doesn't, Mr. President. Can you tell me what you were doing last night so that I can strike your name off the list? I spent the night right here, reading. All night? Exactly. Emily stopped by in the middle of the night, you can ask her. She wanted to talk about some business we have in common. Anything whatsoever to do with Elizabeth? Not at all, Louis. A business matter. Wait, but the guy, he was saying, Napoleon, he was saying that they were playing cards and Washington was there. Someone is lying. Jesus. Anything else? What about cards? I shan't keep you any longer, Mr. President. Feel free, Louis. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Thank you, Mr. President. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone is lying here. Oh my god. We gotta figure it out. Hashweek, uh, even the times in which uh, Sherlock Holmes lived are similar to those in the game. Yeah, it's like uh, 18th century, the end of 18th century. So it's pretty cool. Is this Lord Mortimer? Who are you? Good day, Monsieur. De oh, I don't like this guy. Mr. Volner, are you looking for anything in particular? Next are you looking for trouble? I. I. No, no, I... Uh, nothing special. Um, insinuate that he looks dodgy. He is. Speak about Elizabeth's dad. What is he doing in the corridor? Don't tell him anything uh, for the time being. Okay, what are you doing Lord here? Lord Mortimer must have informed you of the necessity for everyone to remain in their rooms until further notice. Certainly, but I'm a guest, not a prisoner. I was looking for a servant. Since we don't all, unfortunately, have one at our disposal. Yeah, right. I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room. What was he doing, though? He was looking at the picture. Okay. Whose room is this? Uh, Patricia. Elizabeth did say, uh, she knew her days were numbered when we were talking to her by the stairs on episode 1. Yes, uh, at the very end of episode number 1, before she died, she said that she knew that her days were numbered. So, maybe she did it herself, or maybe she knew the killer and it was all planned and she was ready to die. That's interesting. Oh my god! Why would you leave her like this? She's probably... St she stinks. Or maybe not... Yet. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Oh... There's something, but I don't, don't quite understand. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and, unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please, excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Okay, so we know that she didn't have good relationship with her mother, but she was okay with her sister and her father. The clock stopped at 3.54. Is this the time of the death? Murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. Hey, Smart, baby, smart! But she fucking messed up the whole huh. room. The talisman that I gave back to Elizabeth. I can't exactly say it brought her good luck. But take it, take huh. it! The talisman that I gave back to Elizabeth. Why can't I can't take exactly it? say it brought her good luck. 
a notebook written in Elizabeth's handwriting. It is written in a mix of several languages. Not too easy to work out. Use your knowledge. It's medieval Latin. Well, enough to translate a bit. So can you? He's coming. The demon is upon me. He's coming back to kill me. There she is. Death has come to finish me off. I've just run into her son. That was her last entry. What tortured writing. My mama killed her. She said, I just met her son. That me. Jesus. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth. We already read this note in the previous episode. Pistol? Fairly new, I'd say. And judging by the weight of it, fairly light. Okay. Observe the grip, examine the firearm, check inside the barrel. It's extremely well maintained. The barrel is perfectly clean. It isn't loaded and well, there's no traces of gunshot residue. I'd conclude that it hasn't been used recently. A tribute engraved on the barrel. To the liberators of France. That's uh, Napoleon's um, gun. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. Wait, so if this is Napoleon's uh, gun, it was missing from his uh, pocket or whatever, from his baggage, luggage, and then he lied that Monsieur Washington was playing cards with him. Oh my god. Right. I shall have to find its owner. It's Napoleon. What do you mean we shall find? I n we know the owner. Piece of fabric. High quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress, that kind that women of quality wear. Emily? For the nobility cloth make the man or the... What? It's a travel dress. The silk has been lightly waxed to protect it from bad weather. And I know the very woman who came up with the idea, given all the traveling she does. My mother. Oh, God oh. help us. Why did she come here in the first place? The material appears to have undergone abnormal wear and tear. She must have been scouring the countryside, and that doesn't look good. What is happening here? Do you guys understand at least something? Because I am completely lost and confused. Vials of laudanum. Take a look at the vials. Laudanum. Large quantities could knock out a bull. Could Elizabeth have been drugged? If the body wounds are anything to go by, then clearly not. She put up a fierce fight. The label shows that this laudanum comes straight from America. I wonder if Washington's involved. Oh, shit. Boy, I don't understand. Boy. Look at this blade. The blade is short and thin. Well sharpened, apparently. It's covered in blood. Still fresh. Yes, Hashweek. It's crazy, like this room is insane. So many new things. The lower part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight that there's no blood where he held it. The handprint indicates a small and slender hand. Small and slender hand. Then it's probably a lady. I don't know, Patricia, if uh, she stole the gun. Knocked over bottle of wine. Analyze the smell. You know that smell. It's laudanum. It must have been mixed with the wine directly in the bottle. Here you go! You were right, Patricia! It was poisoned! We know that it was poisoned. We know that it was poisoned. <coughs> Same thing Elizabeth served me last night. Still just as disgusting. Bitch! Elizabeth is a bitch. Why she tried line, to poison me? It's undrinkable. Oh my god, I have some uh, debuff. I have to clear. Dis display immunities, vulnerabilities, uh, 
Cure negative alterations. Here we go, guys. I got it. Hi, Squirtle. Welcome what's up? Death. Where left that footprint has boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? That's what I thought. Washington, maybe. Another thing that points at Washington. Oh shit, my lady is not feeling good. Oh shit, her eyes. Gee, did she smoke something? Alicia's platinum blonde. I wanna be a bottle blonde. I don't know why, but I feel calm. I wanna be an idle teen. I wish I haven't been so clean. <laughs> that song perfectly suits that lady. Examine the she arm. There's marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. Nasty. There are also a number of old scars. Gee, this lady's trouble. This fuck. Analyze the scars. The scars are superficial and were made several years ago. She wasn't trying to take her own life. Uh, meaning of scaring people who scar themselves in this way generally do so to relieve some kind of psychological suffering by trying to master the pain they establish their self-control okay guys i lost the chat again let me quickly see what's happening examine the tattoos i like the snake on your tattoo i like the ivy and the ink blue oh, oh, oh. the siglium day i am at i cannot even read it she had the sigillum de amos tattooed on her a symbol of the living God. Written in the language of angels, according to believers. It is rare for someone to know about symbols like this at her age. Unless her mother was a tutor. Okay. Symbol of the Masons? What's that doing here? She's a Mason. Oh, uh, examine the scars. Okay, we examined everything here. Uh, let's examine the, the upper body. Fewer than... Nine wounds on the thorax with a lot of blood. On first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. Maybe it's bullshit. Examine the wounds. Wounds are clean and look like they've been inflicted by a sharp object. Some of the lacerations have damaged vital organs. The heart, the right lung, which is perforated. Most of them weren't given with much force. She might even have survived. But the stab in the heart, though not all that deep... Seal their fate. Okay. Nah, I mean, she's not feeling good at all. Hashweek, if there were flashbacks to crimes like in Detroit Become Human, the game would be so good. Oh my gosh, but who knows? Maybe we're gonna see a flashback later. Some of these tattoos are veritable works of. What's that? The skin between her breasts is different. Bloody hell! This tattoo was drawn on a page of leather and stitched onto her skin. Probably during childhood, the scars are anything to go by. It's the same kind of tattoo as on the rest of her body. I'm fucking out. The ta- Another piece of skin was stitched to her body? What the fuck is wrong with them? People! Jesus. I see no sign of bruising on the skull. The only clue is a scar from a previous craniectomy. Poor Elizabeth, she... She must have been very young when she went through all that. That's torture. She said she my mother did scars that. around the neck. Maybe mutilations. Fucking hell. She bled from the nose. There's signs of bleeding, but... I don't see any traces of bruising. There are 
signs of bleeding, but I don't see any traces of bruising. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, observe the nose, observe the bleed. Wait, we already made all these choices. What a strange smell. That's poison. Need to push the poison from my system until human beings listen. Tell me who you think you are. Breath. Uh. It smells of alcohol and of laudanum. People use it to relieve pain. <laughs> Patricia, I hope that too. Um, okay, choice, uh, choices are made. Examine the hands. No wounds, but blood on the right hand. Nothing on the left except that tattooed symbol. This pinnacle is a trap. The wearers of the pinnacle thought that they were protected from evil by surrounding it inside the different circles of the pinnacle. Boy, it's crazy. Examine Blood, legs. No trace of blows on the legs. Look at Tato's sexual assault. What? Let's see. You gonna see no what? trace of sexual assault or rape. How do you know? More tattoos. Similar to those on the rest of her body. She definitely was into tattoos. Okay, we examined everything, guys. It's time uh, to check this other thing. Look. Blood spatter indicates that the murder must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. He must Even be if strong. Elizabeth wasn't very big. I, I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. It takes tremendous strength to overpower someone like that. It's a man. It's a man. It's not my mama. What is this? Huh? The talisman. Oh, we well already Elizabeth. seen it. We well already seen it. Exactly Come see back, my life. man. Okay, so let's talk to that monsieur. Has Sam uh, finished with this room? Uh, who made such a mess? Do you know who could have made such a mess of this room? Miss Adams, sir. We were given orders to leave the room as it was, so as not to rush her. Did she have a fight with someone to get the room into this state? Not that I know of, sir. Miss Adams would sometimes throw a tantrum, during which she would destroy anything that came to hand. Lord Mortimer told us not to enter the room. Thanks for that information. You are welcome, sir. Has Sir uh, finished with this room? I did. I know enough now. Thank you. Very well, sir. Sir may return whenever need be. I shall guard the door. What if you're the killer? My god, I don't trust this man. I don't trust him. Let's continue our search. Who's next? We gotta go back to Napoleon and ask, like, what the fuck? We cannot go downstairs, though. Who? Oh, it's that guy from the corridor. I don't like him. Let's see his room. He might Ow. be the killer. He might be the killer. The signs of obscurantism. Uh. The sorrows of young Werther. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Werner on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. They all so, connected. Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, but that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Oh my god, I don't know what is happening here. Wait, we already were Table in this room. chemical symbols. Someone's a chest locked with a four-letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. I don't know. Uh, use your knowledge. Unfortunately, we cannot do this. Love? No. Eliz- No. What could be the- Jesus, so first letter is I-Z-L-O, probably L. Lee... Leo... I don't know, guys. I don't know, we should find some code or whatever, some mention here in his room.
Napoleon room is sus. <laughs> That's true. A fragment of amber. Here's this guy. Let's talk to him. Maybe he can tell us the code. Collector coins, okay. Oh yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Let's talk to him. What can I do for you, Dorishe? Lizzo. Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. How can I help, monsieur? Um, where was he last where night? Where were you last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going to bed. But I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. Oh, he said what? Where I were missed you it. last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts oh, before going to bed. Oh, he said he was reading in but his room. But I didn't room. stay up long. Okay, so nobody tired. can prove it. Thank you. Uh, also, Patricia says, what if uh, it's more than one person? It could be two or three people who had done this. Maybe it's Napoleon and someone else. It might be something like that, and then it's crazy. Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she... Uh, not she was his girlfriend. Really, to tell the truth. No. Bullshit I found the me. Signed by your hand, monsieur. Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure and has nothing to do with you. We'll continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will. Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. Ooh, what about manipulation? Is he vulnerable to uh, manipulation? Immunity to occultism and vulnerability diversion. Let's do uh, this guy. Please, tell me a little more about the nature of your relationship. That is a personal matter, monsieur. Yes, that is true. So, tell me. All right. It was passion. That's why we couldn't stay together. It scared her. Passion scared her? Why? Uh... Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? I already oh, asked. She, uh, wait, wait, wait. We already spoke about really that. to tell the truth. No. I found the Verter dedication. Oh my gosh, we already tried it. Would you like to Come on, your stop, now? stop. Be I cannot skip it, unfortunately. Don't push your luck. We my got it, we got it. With oh my Adams god. Was pure and has nothing to do with you. We'll continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will. Yes! I would have preferred a simple response. Yes! I see I have my answer now. That's it, that's it. I know enough. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. Let's see uh, the password. If it's Lizzo, Elizabeth. It's just locked with a four letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Probably should work. No, there's no Z. Ah, almost there though. Um. What could be the password? I... How do I know? UGX... What if it's love? Could it be love? No. Could it be passion? No. Third letter is N. I don't know. So, let's move away, because we do not have the password, unfortunately. What's the book again? Sorrows of Young Werther. Werther. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Werner on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful nah. knowledge you gave me. It won't say as the password, unfortunately. Uh, did you hear about Flash Games? Mm -mm. So... Hedgewick, no. Had a relationship with Elizabeth. What that, is it? That's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Boy, but I wanna. I really wanna open the fucking box. A table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Oh, I took something. 
Alright. Almost missed it. Okay, let's leave because I don't know the password. Unfortunately. Oh! No, let's go back. We know the password now. Oh! A table of alchemical symbols. Okay, so alchemical so symbol. The four letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. What did you eat, Yuki boy? Oh shit, no, return. Third letter. Yes! Yes! Slay Patricia! Yes, Detective Patricia! Love it! Thank you, darling! Okay, let's see next room. Continuing our exploration. Can we go upstairs? We've never been upstairs. What's upstairs? Oh, we can! Whoa! But is that it? Did I check all the rooms already? Should we go back to Napoleon and say, Why are you lying to me, bitch? You are not playing cards. Can I do this? Is his Napoleon... No, it's Peru. Don't want to talk to Peru. That's Napoleon. Yes. Jesus, that sounds so good, Yuki boy. Chinese rice, sweet and sour sauce with chicken. Monsieur ah. Michet, please be quick. We are both very busy. Boy, you are not playing. Do As you have a pistol? Good soldier would. I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Thank you. Wait. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent a That's night That's the same conversation God. that we already heard. Who was? Did anyone happen ordinary? Until what time does anybody... Okay, uh, we cannot well, do we that. Finished, yeah. Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Oh, it doesn't look like there are more options, unfortunately. So, let's just double check this just thing. One holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. It's absolutely the same thing that he said before. Let's go upstairs, guys, and see what's there. Because I don't remember being there. Never, ever. I'm trying to bring the chat back. I don't know what's happening today. Um, I think it was back there, huh? Here's the upstairs ladder. Oh, that's that guy room. Okay, maybe we should talk to him and say something, say something. But let me bring back the chat because I need y'all help me. Please fucking laptop. What's wrong with you? Why it won't open? Let me just restart it because it's annoying as fuck. Uh restart restart in the meantime i'll just open um the chat on my phone hey yo shit 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 so maybe it was uh peru's gun in elizabeth's room but does he have a room maybe before talking to this guy i'll go and talk to peru one more time because he really looks sus i absolutely agree peru looks super sus oh wait let me <laughs> One second, guys. Trying to see y'all messaging in the chat. Biru's room is the first one, so this guy. Alright. 
can I? Oh, here he is. He was sneaky. Dear Mr. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. All right. Probably all finished? the same conversation. Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Uh, do you enjoy hitting people, uh, women? I found his footprint at the scene. I know you were at the scene. We will save a lot of time if you just tell me what happened. You know nothing at all. Enlighten me then. For now, I have your footprint in a pool of blood. That's right. The only thing you can prove is one of my boots was at the scene. Congratulations, you've wrapped up the investigation. Um, that's it. That's it. Nothing more. Unlock. Great, honey. Hey, yo, honey. Uh, alright, then let's go and talk to that guy upstairs. Squirtle, where were you yesterday? I missed you. Like yesterday, me and Clonified, we were trying to investigate the disappearance of Squirtle. But that's all. Bonaparte. Okay, we're just gonna go and talk to the main Mortimer guy. Hopefully, I did not miss anything because... Wow, missing stuff is not cute at all. Uh, Hashbeak. Flash games were simple uh, free browser games that gave me a lot of fun when I was younger. Oh, you mean this kind of games, like uh, Flash games. Yes, I did play some, I think, long time ago. I thought uh, you were saying like Flash superhero or something. Uh, let's talk to Monsieur Cardinal. Or Maybe he has some new myself. option. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, uh, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's uh, probably nothing. Does he know why anything else? Okay, but there's if nothing. if I were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Pell. We already you remember did. remember how violently he set upon Miss Adams. Oh, don't worry. He's on the list of suspects. Alrighty. Let's just talk to Monsieur Mortimer. Where was Mr. Mortimer last I've night? I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. Maybe it's him. He's like old oh, bossy. Um, remind me of the facts we already know. I have clues, but prefer to not accuse anyone. Yes. I'm sorry, my lord, but I don't have any evidence conclusive enough to allow me to name the culprit with certitude. Really? I see. Well, that's your decision, Louis, and I accept it. Given the distinguished guests and the sensitive political issues involved at the conference, I trust you'll leave me to conclude the case in my own way. No! Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. She isn't missing. She's hiding. She does it often. Pose your questions to Mortimer. I mean, she's hiding. I think I saw my mother's dress piece in Elizabeth's room, so I don't know. She's not missing, right? She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? The episode is called Hide and Sick. All right, she's the cat. Knowing my mother, she would be the cat. That doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. 
He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. He we will. Shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Oh, did my mother sell arms? Why help a lieutenant? I don't know. Did my mother intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I mean, I she's still here. Indeed. If by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what is said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? I have no fucking idea. That's why I'm here to investigate. If... Only my mother had trusted me, but she remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. His eyes are Is so this pretty, usual though. Is for her? As head of the Order, secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I am sure that Sarah will explain everything once she reappears. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Maybe she is wary of someone. She might have discovered something. Maybe she lost her mind. Uh, maybe she discovered something. Maybe she found something out. What do you mean? My mother has a gift for investigating. If she had picked up a lead, nothing would have stopped her. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. Uh, what did you speak about together? Enough about her, what of her disappearance? I mean, we already figured that it's not disappearance and she's just hiding. What did you speak about together? You seem to know my mother very well, my lord. What did you talk about together? Oh, as soon as we had a little free time, we liked to share points of view about practically any subject. We would find ourselves embarked on interminable discussions that could go from Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jesse, or the adoption of the metric system in France last year, or even Mr. Eli Whitney's invention in the United States. Ah, uh, Whitney's cotton gin. Oh, uh, wait, this is erudition. Uh, let's see if it's vulnerable to erudition. Mortimer. Conviction. Okay. Ah, yes. His famous cotton gin. It was supposed to revolutionize cotton production in the United States. It will revolutionize the world, Louis. The potential of this invention is much greater. Tomorrow, all industries will be switching to simple but large-scale production. Of that, I'm sure. I'm surprised she didn't get you started on the Crusades. It was her favorite subject. Huh, are you joking? Sarah and I spent entire days together reliving them. It so happens that the Crusades are also my subject of predilection, especially the Third. My ancestor distinguished himself brilliantly during the siege of Saint-Jean d'Acre. Saint-Jean d'Acre? What's up with Saint-Jean d'Acre? Mother lulled my childhood with tales of the Crusades. How Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus had to battle it out to achieve their ends. 
and how Guy de Lusignan, having broken his word, launched the siege of Saint Jean d'Acre. Oh, I see Sarah's lessons have inspired new enthusiasts. Good on you, because not everyone can claim they know as much at your age. Yeah, I'm your smart, so is what? You're a very well read woman. You're quite lucky to have her as a model, Louis. Yes, I know, but I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are worse things to worry about now, Louis. What do you mean? Death Since she of Elizabeth? Your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. That's from the I vision. I beg your pardon? Hang on. That's from the vision. Emily has a twin sister? Who knew my mother? But she playing it, goddammit. That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. Can I, can I go? Would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I said. Um, hey, yo, this is so exciting. Like new facts hmm. and... The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. Go to the tower room. Where's Mortimer's study? Is this the room? I don't know. Oh, fuck, it is. Is this tower room? There are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Man with a sword, Napoleon Bonaparte. Who could he she had a sword. be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. That's Napoleon. Nobody else has a sword in here. I'm full of honey. Dante's Paradise. Ooh. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. What is this disc? Observe the disc. Oh, that reminds me of the ones my mother collects. It's magnetic. Mom, Mama is an artifact taker, and I'm gonna take it too. Press right mouse button to consult your notes. I will consult my notes in a bit when I investigate the whole thing here. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Boy, I remember this story. The fierce opponent of the first Christians St. Paul is suddenly struck by the call of Jesus Christ. Jesus! It it's the best known conversion in Christian history, which teaches us that even enemies of Christ can be saved and even become his greatest apostles after finding faith. Jesus! From what I can recall, the account of his conversion could be found in the epistles to the Galatians, the Philippians, the Corinthians, and the Acts of the Apostles. Jesus, show me your teeth! Examine the painting. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal. 
the curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior. I'm in cute, cute, cool, thank you, nice, perfect. She says, we must find a safer way to communicate, someone is onto us, trust in my faith in the man with the sword. That's Napoleon, she trusted him. Hopefully he did not betray her. Fucking close, are you kidding me? The door appears to be locked on the other side. How am I gonna go? Through the balcony, through the balcony, bestie. Open. If I can open it, why not? Oh fuck. I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. I mean, I can fucking pick the lock, but yet let's use the disc. Since I have a we'll disc, let's works. use it. Hey, smart, smart. What's in the room? What's in the room? It's open. I see. Take you down to paradise. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. Amazing. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. St. Paul Let's is the sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Wait, what? Think about the secret code. Let's think. So we have the figure 11 twice underlined and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere, and it must be associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure, maybe? Pilgrims. We gotta find another painting. A painting of St. Mark from the collection of the Apostles by Guido Rini. Okay. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. But do you want to inspect it then? No? He was like, okay, somebody touched it. I won't touch it. What do I know about this apostle? St. John is known as the youngest of Christ's apostles. Well, we often give credit to St. John for having written about the apocalypse in the last book of the Bible. Okay, Apocalypse. Oh, wait, I can observe it. It's St. John, painted by Guido Rini. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, I already knew that. The New Testament. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's analyze. This volume dates from the first edition of Gutenberg. It's the first book that was ever printed. Pages are covered in annotations in Latin, French, and Hebrew. Someone spent years studying this Bible. Yes, Bible. What is it? Volume of the Gutenberg Bible. Read. Okay, we gotta find something about... Who? Jesus. Mark, Luke, Apostle, Saint Jude. Wait. Okay, stop I guess reading. I'll just come back later. I'll come back later. He said. She said what? Eleven. The drawing of the Apostle Matthew. It was saying eleven. Matthew Let's see. Okay, okay. It is writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. My body is my temple, my heart is one too. She said 11. It should be something. Oh, fuck, there's no number 11. Blah, give me 11, please. Oh, 11. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. No, that's not what we needed. That's not what we needed. 
man with the sword. Let's see it one more time. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the 13th apostle. 13, 11, what? Is this thing connected? St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Opa! St. Paul is the only saint represented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? It's all about St. Paul, so it's supposed to be St. Paul's verse, I think. St. Paul. I don't know, let's just read everything. Uh, how do I know what verse? That's a lot. Chapter 1, verse 1. Yay. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace okay. be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. That's not what we needed. I'm just trying to see any numbers that are at least somehow connected. 11 11, here we go. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages here. Hey. What does it say? Hey. Hey. I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative. Awaiting Amazon package? Reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does mother mean by that? The here it is. Here's the youngest apostle. The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. But wasn't my mother said? She would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle. Here ah, he is. Of course. There's something written behind the painting. Smart, On smart. The second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? One and three, thirteen. St. John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. What if it's a lady? Hey, wait! That means it's him. He's the youngest apostle. Oh my gosh, I knew right. that. Right! This painting is therefore associated with the answer which E had to give to my mother. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. So... It says... One from left and three from the right. On the second day, the pilgrims listened to the prophecy of the young apostle. The prophecy of the young apostle. That was John. And the prophecy mentioned is most likely the book of Revelations according to St. John. Book of Revelations according to St. John. Let's do it. Book of Revelations, St. John. One three, one three. Uh. Wait, what? Wait, behind youngest apostle. Let's try. Uh, Hereby know 413, that we I don't dwell know. in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. That's wrong. Again, Revelation John. She said one or five. Wait, what? And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. Revelations, John chapter 12, verse 14. Okay, Patricia. John. Wait, what? Revelations to John. John chapter 12, 14. But I don't have it. 
Oh, revelation to John. Oh my gosh. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. Hey, a new note. It's been folded carefully in the corner of this page. The writing, it, it, it's not my mother's. It's from E. Yes. Oh. I found the book in your effects. I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it. I can assure you, awaiting your instructions, I will hear your reply like he who hears the angel. Here's the angel? What does that mean? Oh, it's probably the place where she was expecting to get the location of the next note. Here's the angel. Who hears the angel? My body. Just the occult symbol representing air. Ma, I don't have anything. No keys, no nothing. Can he hear an, hear an angel? Look at There's the frame. Something else behind this painting. Hey, Investigator Kalman. Half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? Half of each group. must be the group of pilgrims mentioned from before. I guess maybe the city of Corinth is a reference to the epistle from Corinthians in the Bible. Okay. A group of pilgrims. If I'm not mistaken, numbered respectively 12 and 14 in the last painting. With the simple operation suggested, that would mean that the new groups are 6 and 7. 6 and 7, perfect! Let's do it! 6 and 7. No Love good boys in. ever go to heaven. Wait. Six and seven. Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah, oh, look. Here's a message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. And that first group of pilgrims, how many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. Six, wait, what? <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to bring back the chat again because it's so fucking annoying. I don't understand why it's breaking all the freaking time. Like, oh my gosh. Um, anyways. One second, guys. YouTube. So, um... I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. Wait, bitch, what? Oh yeah, well, let me just bring it back. Okay, so... I'll leave it to you to organize... It, paramount importance that no one finds it with our Prussian, he's on the trail. Let's meet up, I'll leave you to organize, not today, I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. Mark. Here's Mark. Who will reveal answer, first group to Mark. I don't know. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and Jordan. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, but boy, who's this? Is this Mark? Chest or drawers, inspect dusty furniture behind the exact candlestick. No, I don't know. Nothing of value here. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. The sentence in Hebrew. Choosing the Hebrew alphabet is no coincidence. 
It's it's got to be a reference to the Bible. What's the reference, though? There's nothing worth noticing here. There are finger marks. Deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. Okay, if it's eight, then maybe we can do mark. There's no mark eight. Blah. Hebrew. I don't know. Thou hast put all things under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. No. What if it's this guy? But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. Hey. There are some Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. New pilgrims near Paul. That's Paul, right? Here the pilgrims or whatever. Paul, Thank you, Patricia. I'm so happy. Two representation of the same. Examine the this frame. Painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. So what? We need more. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Paul facing an ordeal. The curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior. Okay, so we have pool. Maybe now it's pool and it has to do something with four. Let's see. Uh, pull. Jeez, that's a lot. Ah. Uh, that's a fucking lot. Wait. When Paul understood that only the act counted, he went back on his tracks. I wait your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. What? Paul, romance. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. No. Paul, bitch, give me more answers. More Saint hints, Paul. Paul. Went to Damascus by Caravaggio. Two representations. Examine the frame. Examine the frame. Saint Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? No fucking idea. Ah, uh, try this. Read Acts of the Apostles, chapter ten, verse eight. Let's try. But how? How do we go there? And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, there's a note here. A message from mother. How do we get me. this note? I don't you know. Must That's leave weird. Urgently. But first, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. Allay suspicion. 
see you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. And then she kills her. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. Fred Krueger? What does she mean by that? Fred Krueger? Uh, probably she went to Elm Street. Allegorical or literal? Nightmare. I think literal. Clearly she must be trying to do something useful, but, but what? A nightmare. Does that remind me of anything? It's an object, it's a place, it's a concept. Bitch. I don't know. Nightmare. It's a concept. Well, if it's a concept, I've got no idea what it is. I need to figure out what this means. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. Let's be suspicious. Let's be suspicious. Nightmare. I think Nightmare could be one of the paintings because it's all crazy. Where's my mother? Episode 2. We finished this mission. Success. I refused to indicate a culprit or to Lord Mortimer. I found all the correspondence between my mother and E. I discovered my mother's message. I did not understand my mother's message. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> <laughs> alternate path. There were no alternate path. Okay. New characters met. Hey. So, what should I do? We have four points. Four points to Gryffindor. Conviction. Psychology. I kind of like psychology. Maybe we should upgrade psychology. Or... Or we sh maybe we should invest in some good stuff. I'll just invest in some good stuff. Occultism. A tragic fate achievement unlocked. Three new manuscripts. A. Linguistic occultism questioning. Erudition conviction politics diversion politics. Well, let's do questioning. I like questioning. Erudition. I want to be smart, bestie. That's it. Let's go. Apprentice. Talent unlocked. It's time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. Meet with the other guests in the small living room. Is this the small living room? You are expected in the small salon, sir. Small salon. Is this downstairs? We're gonna go downstairs then. All right, small salon. It's been quite some time. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Emily, I must speak to you. What's oh, the matter, Emily? I have news about your sister. Oh. What have you found out? She Look, dead. I started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. Um, don't send her on my mother's trail. Ask her to go beyond the nightmare. I've got a question that might seem a little bit strange. I'm listening. If I said go beyond the nightmare, would that ring any bells? Hmm. No, means nothing to me. Fred Krueger, I'm telling you. Or figuratively speaking. Bitch. Literally. Why not a place? It might be a place. I, I don't know where, but it's a lead. You ought to ask his eminence. He knows the house and its estate very well, being a frequent visitor here. Thanks for the advice. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Guys, what do you think? Should I tell her or keep quiet? I kind of don't trust my lady. She's cute and all, but I kind of don't trust her. Keep quiet or tell her. It's a 
fucking vision after all. It's a fucking vision. I'll just keep it to myself because it's a vision. I have no proof. Chill. I better keep that to myself for the time being. Maybe nothing happened. Come it's Lily. a fucking vision. They're waiting for us. They fighting there, huh? You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back, or it'll cost you dearly. Calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. Uh, who is it? <laughs> but hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. Why? And what has Monsieur Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a fuss? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. Wow. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh. Nightmare, nightmare. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What it an obnoxious is. act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, Never. please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Everyone chill. Everyone fucking chill. If I remember rightly, what Mother told me one night, King Louis was secretly also part of the order. I wonder what impact his death will have on us. Sad news, sir. Oh. <laughs> With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I'm Louis the investigator. Are you related to Sarah de Richet? Oui. Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to the Calm, news. like calm. Uh, rest assured, the response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. Wait, what? Why you play, Monsieur Mortimer? Just let's do everything right now. Why be doing this delays? Find out what Walmer uh, is could hiding. Could you spare a moment, please, sir? We I'm for sure. I want to talk to you too. Of course. Ooh, ooh. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Okay, let me quickly check. Uh. Volner, diversion, occultism, immunity. Okay. Let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her? Maybe? Maybe, baby bitch. Uh, what is he waiting for? Oh, shit, I have no time for that. Tell him what you found out. 
Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay. We found traces of her that would indicate she's still on the island. A personal belongings? Yes, but nothing of great interest. Scraps of food, some Says clothes. only one chance. Ah, it's crazy. I see. Well, too bad. I shan't keep you, Monsieur de Richet. All right, then. Thank you. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I must go now. I'll see you later. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. What am I supposed to say? Why would I lie? Bitch. Oh my gosh, so disappointing. All right. I've retrieved everything. Sure, retreat, retreat blad. Retreat your mind. Oh my god, what a shame, what a fail. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte, where's your gun? Did you kill Emily? Please tell me now. I mean Elizabeth. Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? Uh, ask him about the nightmare. Does expression go beyond the nightmare mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. Yes. Indeed. That's surely not what I'm looking for. Well, monsieur, if you are looking for a phrase book, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the number of books he has. You ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. Okay. Uh, tell me more about the coming conference. Ask him a uh, opinion of Godoy. What do you think of Duke Godoy? Well, I'd rather not express any opinion of him. Why not? Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Okay. Uh, will this not be an opportunity to get to know him better? You'll be able to check if the hearsay is true over these next few days. I sincerely doubt that. The context does not allow me to give him my trust. I understand your point of view. Um, ask him about coming conference. Do you have any more information about the conference Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences. But given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? Okay, I think uh, Napoleon doesn't well, know anything. I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Never. Wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? We. Oui. Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. A plus tard. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh shit, grand hole. We can go upstairs. Wait, find out more clues about your mother's note. Look, that looks like fucking nightmare. Crucifixion of Saint Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Don't you Surprising think it's a fucking nightmare? Hole. Being crucified? I think it's a fucking nightmare. Uh, where do we go? This is nightmare too. Oh, Washington, what's up? Go beyond the nightmare. Does this line remind you of anything in particular? You caught me unaware here, Louis. Let me think about it a second. No, nothing comes to mind. Sorry, Louis, but I am unable to help you. Okay, ask him about Godoy. Tell me more about coming conference. Mr. President, can you tell me a little more about the coming conference? Of course, Louis. That's why we're here. Lord Mortimer or Sir Gregory regularly organize meetings like this to put forward major projects. What do you mean by major projects? Fucking war! I prefer to let Lord Mortimer explain that to you, Louis. Let's say he brings together influential people in order to consider possible actions to undertake to guarantee the future of nations. Do you know the theme of the conference? Not in the slightest. None of the guests know the theme before arriving. But you'll see. Everything will turn out fine. Don't worry. Uh, ask Mr. him about President, Godoy. What do you think about your counterpart, Duke Manuel? I'm very surprised he was able to accept Lord Mortimer's invitation, given the political situation in Spain. What context? What do you mean? 
The situation is ready to explode with France over Catalonia. Well, the Duke must have a darn good reason to be absent and come here, mustn't he? When Lord Mortimer invites you, Louis, you come. It's always in your best interest. I wouldn't say that personally, but... Ah. Speak about the night, man. Go beyond the nightmare. We Does already did, we already did. No, 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 no. Jesus, why cannot skip? Yet, Bitch. Let me think about it a second. Monsieur, Monsieur, we no, already spoke about nothing it. Nothing comes to mind. Sorry, Louis, but I am unable to help it's you. It's cute, it's okay, bye. Well, thank you for your time. Don't mention it, my young friend. Bye. Regarding your question on the nightmare, don't hesitate to question the others about it. Maybe one of them knows more than I do. We That's have to talk idea. to Priest. Thank you once again. I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we have to talk to the priest guy. What is this room? Oh, that's cute. Here's the priest guy. Just like I wanted. Now my candle in the wind. By this book changed the way I looked at the world. For sure. That's a cute room with a lot of butterflies. Look at this view, guys. It's fucking crazy. Jesus Christ. I live here. So amazing. Oh yeah, let's talk to Monsieur. Go beyond nightmare, my man. Ah, Louis. Just the man. Good lord. How did the king come to be executed? I would think that the order would have intervened. The king was playing with fire. Or, wait, let's see his vulnerabilities. Godoy, Holm Bonaparte, Piaggi. Manipulation to be discovered. Okay, let's do this guy. Your Eminence, I haven't been following the case. I'm sure that the Order did everything in its power. Unfortunately, you know the situation in Paris, and, well, it's chaotic at best. Anything can happen in those revolutionary tribunals. The king is the official representative of God on Earth, my son. Not Your eminence, really. France has become a secular state. The king was just another citizen to them. He refused to admit his errors, looked down upon them, and attempted to escape. What did he expect? France has lost all reason, Louis. No. I invite you to speak about it with my mother as soon as she reappears. Uh, is there any news of her? Yes, go I, be a nightmare. Well, I hope it won't be long before I find her, Your Eminence. Now you wanted to speak to me. If I say the nightmare to you, does it make you think of anything? Hmm. Fred Krueger, bitch. Your question bitch. is strange, my son. Difficult to say. Could you at least tell me a little more about the context? A uh, place or... Hey. Think of a place and tell me the first thing that comes into your mind when I say the nightmare. Hmm. Uh, let me think. I'd say uh, Lord Mortimer's favorite painting on the wall behind his desk. You know, that painting caused quite a stare when it was exhibited. It is titled The Nightmare, and it shows a woman lying down with a creature sitting on her. And in the background, a horse. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if it will be of any help, but I can't think of anything else. You never know. Thank you for that, though, Your Eminence. Oh, I gotta go and see it just in case, though. I told you guys. Thank I you. I fucking for told you it's a painting. I shan't take up any more of your time. You are welcome, my son. Okay. I will be seeing you, Louis. Be blessed, bestie. Bye. Let's go, let's go. Monsieur Mortimer, I think he's on the very top of the castle. So let's just go and see. You've been acting awful tough lately. Smoking a lot of cigarettes lately. But inside, you're just a little baby. Ooh. Okay, I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> so we're just gonna be in silence. <laughs> uh, 
I really hope Monsieur Mortimer is not in his study, so we can... Bitch, I think I took a wrong turn. So we can, um, investigate the painting without his presence. And he won't disturb us. Where's the fucking stair? Oh, here it is. Yes. So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? Go beyond her, his stable. That's what he meant. No, no, what have we got here? Ladders. Well, it looks like a model. A model of a lock. If Mortimer is fond of con let's take a closer look. What's that? Take chocolate, examine chocolate. Touching by the shape, I'd say the Criollo cocoa beans, the chocolate of the Mayas, the rarest of the Let's beans. try it, let's Some try even it. say they're an aphrodisiac. Let's try the it. The product is in fashion. People attribute all sorts of virtues to it, not to be given to animals. Nom nom nom, take chocolate. Hey. Dark chocolate beans, very bitter. Hey. They're greatly prized in high society. Okay. While society is falling, we are quietly reforming, protecting the planet, healing our own damage. Oh. Cherries and wine, rosemary and thyme. That's what you generally feed birds. Should I feed my bestie? I think I should feed my bestie. Hmm. Might come in handy. Red berries. It reminds me of Siberia. One Barokstad, when she, uh, when Kate had to feed them birdies to move away. It's a book on the history of the Crusades. I don't think it has any connection with my research. Okay, by why you picked this specific book? Let's read them letters. Account for the year 1792. Ah, okay. Dear Mr. Guido Poletti, I'm writing with regard to dates of the paintings that I sent you for temporary exhibition. Please note... Okay, it's just... It's like nothing. Something about his politics, purchases. The Nightmare Painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Told you. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. Here you go. Hey. Looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. Mechanism. Yes, Icky boy, maybe these are berries from... Siberia? From Barokstad? Straight from Barokstad. Hey, Chamber of Secrets! Boy, it has a fucking code! I don't know the code. Oh my god. Uh, I found it. Oh. What on earth is this? Right? A ring lock now? Great. This That's is my reaction. Uh, uh, uh. Notice something. It's a complex mechanism. Hmm. Looks like the third ring is a bit seized up. It's stuck on number nine. Mm. Wait, what's stuck? Looks like the third ring is a bit seized up. It gets stuck on number nine. Okay. Do you want to make it nine? So it's nine. Let's see. I think uh, it's right here. 1792. Let's just do 1792. It looks like it's... The thing. Let's try it. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't I, matter. I can feed the birdie. A minor bird. She gonna tell me the code. Speak to the bird. Feed the bird. Give chocolate of give chocolate. Hey, I'll be nasty. What have I done? It looks like I've killed him. Oh shit. I better not hang around. Blood. Oh my god, I did what? 
Bitch, it was a chocolate. Bitch. Rest in peace, sweetheart. Fuck. Who's gonna tell me the code now? This painting isn't finished. And it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but you can't exactly say it's been done in the style of the period. Why the fuck the birdie died? Jesus. Chocolate is poison to most animals. I didn't know that. Fucking hell. Bitch, she could have told me the fucking code. Anyways. Numbers. Uh three five nine eight. Three five nine eight. Let's try it. Oh shit. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Girl, find the code of the hidden door. No, no, what have we got here? Well, what it looks is like this? like a model. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. Yeah. Boy. Fucking bird died. What is this? Chamber or uh, the Book of Shadows? Many families kept documents of their history, but I've never seen anything like this before. Such regularity in writing them up through the generations for such a long time. First time I've ever seen that. Mortimer gives considerable importance to his origins. That's undeniable. Cool. Well, well. History of the Mortimer lineage. Looks like his ancestors have always sought to improve society and have had an open attitude towards the arts. Dark arts. This seems to be the list of grants and sponsorships given by the Mortimer family. Oh shit. From 1235 to 1280, the Mortimer family granted an annual pension to Albert the Great, Archbishop of Regensburg in order to fund his research in the writing of De Mirabilibus Munsi, <coughs> books about the wonders of the world. Ah, uh, De Marble. Let's not forget it recorded the recipe for gunpowder in the form of an anagram. They democratized firearms in Europe, no less. Okay. In 1567, the Mortimer family finally oh, the brickworks in <coughs> Qinhongdao. Well, I'm cuffing. China fitted out with 51 furnaces three and a half meters high. I'm dying like a birdie. A Karma Rome hits King. me right now, guys. The the Fucking Dynasty. live death. Ugh. Okay, I have no logic for this. In 1645, the Mortimer family. Patricia, I will try it in a bit. I just want to investigate and try to find Bordeaux, something. Ship owners and refiners Useful. from father to son. A family known for the expeditions to Africa and America. In 1489, the Mortimer family participates in the purchase of the Caravel Santa Clara from Juan Nino, ship owner, on behalf of Don Luis de la Cerda. The vessel will be renamed La Nina. La Nina. La Nina, yes. That's one of the three caravels of the expedition of Christopher Columbus. It enabled him to discover the Americas. Well, so, uh, you can certainly say the grandfather had a flair for business. Wait, why are we investigating all this stuff? Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Fuck it. Uh, family tree. Oh, the family tree. Analyze Let's names. See. All Mortimer's ancestors are called William something Mortimer. That happens a lot in noble families, but here it's systematic. Not a single generation ever breaks the custom. Looks like this family is very attached to their principles. Oh, uh, okay. William Alexander look uh, to the last descendants see other ancestors. All right. For one, the women of the lineage are not mentioned at all. What a cavalier attitude. Hey, right. that's not cool. Let's see. 
Who else is there? Analyze the Familia organization. Another at random. William Mortimer again. Only son, him too. Born in 1573 and died in 1665. <laughs> the Mortimers lived to a ripe old age, that's for sure. Discreet again. The summary states that he was an excellent merchant. Boy, why are you telling me all this life, stuff? He entered politics? Only son, a descendant with a singular name. He also took a wife and had only one child. Named William again. Well, that's no surprise. Everyone is named... Aww, uh, William. Lord William Alexander Mortimer. Lover of the arts and the Immunity sciences. to science. He took up politics at an early age. Good After to know. After rapidly becoming influential, he decides to retire from public life in order to organize conferences reserved for the elite with the aim of finding answers to world problems. Blah, 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 blah. He's also an only son, and the book doesn't mention any known descendant. The first William Alexander Mortimer. He was born in 1131 and distinguished himself during the Third Crusade, during which he rubbed shoulders with Richard the Lionheart. He showed outstanding bravery during the Siege of saint jean d'Acre. He died in 1211 in the country of Westford at the age of 80. <laughs> what longevity? Nice. Nothing nice. is mentioned about his wife. Did I already see this? A direct descendant of William Alexander Mortimer I was born in 1195 on his father's return from the crusade. Only son, more discreet than his father, it states that he was widely traveled. Oh, we gotta check the book. William we gotta Michael check Mortimer. the book. It was saying something about crusades. There's no chapter dedicated to his mother. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Is there anything else here though? That I can pick up? Dante's Purgatory. No. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub? The worm before it's attained its final form. There's something with the Crusades in this book. History of the First Crusades by Pierre Amédée de la Salle. Hey. The dates indicate AL, and it looks like 4,000 years have been added to our calendar. All oh, that counting system again. Boy, what? Link the author to the dates. The author is Pierre Amadeu de la Salle, none other than the Grand Master of the Masonic Lodge of Paris. Now I understand why the dates are offset. He's using dates based on the Analusis, year zero of the Masonic calendar, by adding 4,000 years to the Gregorian calendar. Bitch, what? But I thought that that calendar starts in March. Bitch, what? First Crusade. Uh. The famous call of Pope Urban II. 20 years after the capture of Jerusalem from the Arabs by the Turks, Urban II convened the council. He promises a plenary indulgence to Christians who go and get Jerusalem back from the Turks. The result. I wonder the if all these facts the are real. Jerusalem found itself persecuted for no reason. 12,000 Jews would perish. Crazy. Not to mention the massacre of Ma'ara, where acts of cannibalism by Frankish crusaders were reported, or even the capture of Jerusalem, where approximately 30,000 were left dead. It signaled the beginning of centuries of wars of religion. Ugh, it's cray cray. Fucking hate war. Uh, let's see this guy. A famous call from Pope Gregory VIII in his Odita Tremendi Bull of 5,187. Oh, the crusade where Richard the Lionheart distinguished himself. It states the first sea blockade of saint jean d'Acre was broken in the 12th month of 5,190 AL, whereas the siege had been going on for two years. Chua. Or how Louis VII, King of France, eager to be pardoned for the death of thousands of innocent people in the fire of the Church of Vitry, convinces the Pope to authorize him to lead his own crusade. The result? In Germany, a new outburst of violence against the Jewish community. And a monumental fiasco by Pope Why Louis everyone VII, is trying to do something to Jews all the time? 
Leave them fucking alone, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, so, let's see. No, no, what have we got here? Nothing. Let's just try the code that Patricia told us about. Because I fucking don't know. Such a big deal, though. One one nine one has to do something with the crusades. Hey, chamber of secrets. Open sesame. <laughs> That's a big globe. Hey, 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 how am I gonna go back? Where's Monsieur Mortimer? Am I gonna find Mama now? Jesus. Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. Oh, hush, hush, hush. Dear Lord Mortimer, I'm writing to ask you to persuade President Washington not to sign the Fugitive Slave Act as it stands. We must absolutely legis legislate level on a national level and not allow every state to choose their policy regard. Okay, so they asking. Oh, wait, there was something about Elizabeth. Say hello to my daughter Elizabeth. Wow. Wow. He was asking to do him something. And say hello to his daughter, and now his daughter is fucking dead. My lord, I hope this letter will reach you. My hours are numbered. Uh, here you go. Patricia, you asked about Russians. My printing house has been confiscated, and I'm imprisoned in the fortress of Schleswig. If by chance you could intervene in my favor, I would be eternally in your debt. The Tsarina Catherine uh, should not be long in banning all Golden Order lodges from the territory. Our horizon um, has become considerably darker. In the hope that you can help me, your friend Nikolai Novikov. He's Russian. Search Mertima secret study. It's a map of Africa. It shows the forces present in Africa. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like there are also many unknowns, even for Mortimer. Oh yeah. So what? Weakness of the Human Psyche by Guillaume Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. There's just some note that something has been delivered. That's it. Nothing specific. This shows the forces present in America. God forgive America for every single war. My dear friend, with uh, thanks for your services rendered and help in the fight against the Spanish and the conquest of Oran, a ship bound for Marseille in France has been chartered. Uh, Eden aboard uh, are a few corpses infected with the plague that is uh, decimating our country at this moment of time. Okay. My dear friend. Okay, everybody just ask him to do something. Let us see if you have the courage to face me alone. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. I told you Mortimer is to? the main evil. Obviously she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but... But where? To the Africa? She's left for Mortimer is a stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. What do you mean you took a fucking sword out of the globe? Do you think Lord Mortimer won't notice? Another something about Russians. 
Asia. A looking map of the Orient, indeed. So what? What about all the... I just don't want to read all the notes because it doesn't really look like it Lock. has anything to do with the main thing. William, I shall come to your conference, but do you think that holding it at the present moment is conductive, your loving brother? Map of Europe. The forces present in Europe. It's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. 26 million is the whole of uh, France? Really? Something strange about this table. Examine. What kind of experiments does Mortimer carry out here? I don't know, it looks crazy. Table. So Mortimer does autopsies here on his desert island. What? But who is he doing autopsies on then? On Elizabeth? The little surgeon's perfect collection. He is crazy. Science immunity. You opened the box. I came. Looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. It's a lament configuration. It's her feathers. Pigeon. A skeleton. By the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. Dear friend, who is the most admirable of all the Olympians? None. Man fear uh, his thunder and praise his justice. His, uh, he reigns but doesn't dominate. What? Hmm. That must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. An iron mask. I wonder who it's for. For Elizabeth. Uh. Fire symbol. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Oh, I do have the key. There you go. Unlock the second lock. What? He was an occult water symbol. Excuse moi My dearest friend. They have so many notes here. Am I seeing things or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Mortimer is order, crazily sus. Get one of those. Three That's true. Nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Three rusty nails. Nasty. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. Chicken legs. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. I didn't seem as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Pré Saint Gervais, okay. Look. A pack of tarot cards. Oh, I just Has recently received my cards? tarot cards. Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. Read the draw. Yes. It is a typical draw on a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance. That announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, the chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right... The Emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. So what? Uh, that's it. Wait, go find your mother. Bitch, what do you mean? Where should I find my mama? Um ma mama, um ma mama. Wait, can I do something with the nails? Three rusty old no. nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Should we just go? Oh shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? That's a good question. Oh. Oh. Oh, my man. 
So it's supposed to be opposite uh, to what's there. Oh my gosh. 119. How do I do that? Fuck. Boy. Jeez, it's all so complicated. Weakness of the human psyche by Giham Trimor. Can I just open this door? It's locked. How do I go and find my mother if she's not here? And I don't even know where she is. 6466. Six, six. Let's try it. I just really hope that I found everything I needed in this room. Wait, this one's supposed to be four. So I gotta remember for the future, if on this thing one is there, then opposite side is six. Okay. One, six. Gotta remember that. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Yes. It looks like the same as the one on the other side. He's gonna be waiting for me on the other side, I'm telling you. He's gonna be like, what the fuck did you do to my birdie? Yeah, let's fucking leave. Master of Escape. <laughs> find out the origin of the sword left by your mama. How do I find it? I cannot leave, so probably somewhere here. This painting isn't finished. And it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Maybe in the book? I don't know. History of the First Crusades by Pierre Amédée de la Salle. Hey. The dates indicate oh my gosh, and it I hate it like that they keep saying stuff that we already heard and we cannot oh, even, uh, again. we cannot even skip it. No, there's nothing here. Find out the origin of the sword left by your mama. Maybe it's here, on his table, there, there was a note of all the purchases. No. No, no, what have we got here? It looks like a model, a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. William Alexander Mortimer the first, the twelfth month of Anna Lucis, five thousand one hundred ninety. That's a funny date. That date in five thousand and something again. Hmm. I wonder what in the world it means. Wait, what? Ah, stand you, my man. A painting depicting the Third Crusade. It's titled Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre. I get the impression I've seen that before. In fact, I've read something on the Crusades before in the study. He clearly loves the subject. So, so, my man, what do you mean by that? Hey, there are two dates on this painting. 1154 AD and 5154 AL. Okay, it was all for the lock, I think. But we gotta find Mama. The first Crusades by Pierre oh Amade no! Dessa. No hey, fucking hell, he gonna say it all over again. Looks like... I'm not touching to this book never again. Shut the oh, fuck up, Monsieur French again. boy. Sure, bye. Fuck it. Find out the origin of the sword. But boy, I cannot escape this room. Or can I? Maybe it's open now. Let's see. Now it's open! The fuck? The nightmare. 
So, success. I met Manuel Godoy. I found the nightmare that my mother mentioned. I got to know Waldo. I found a way of getting into the secret study. I got out of the Mortimer secret study without any trouble. Failed. I did not get any information out of one Walner. I poisoned Waldo, the bird in Mortimer's office. Ew, 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 ew. I could have met Peru under strange circumstances. Boy, I'm missing stuff in this game. I should be more careful. But it was a crazy quest. Your points. One, two, three. Yes! Occultism. Three. Logic. I need logic. Where's logic? Logic. I have one. Oh, fuck me. A lot of stuff requires logic. Achievement unlock. Specialist and the nightmare. Um, I'm gonna go and check out if there's logic. Here you go. Oh, wait! I, I did not equip stuff! This fuck. note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. Alright, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. Find out the You're origin. You're joking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Well, for God's sake, just ask them. Spy on Piaggi and Wall, never look for your mother. Spy, spy. Look for your mother, we can always look for my mother. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one, twenty odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies, but I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I mean, speak about the stone sword, delve deeper into the discussion. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Should I? No. I was wondering if you might have seen an object like this here at the manor. What are you playing at, Deriche? I'm afraid I can't help you, my son. Ask someone who knows the manor better than I do. One of the servants, for example. One of them is bound to help you. Thank you for your advice, your eminence. I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Um, Piaggi. Manipulation, yes! Let's do manipulation. You brought spears as well, then? What? Did Mortimer ask you to bring him holy spears, too? Yes. Yes, but holy I thought Britney I was the spears. only one. How many of them have you brought, then? Eighteen, you know. Any relic even remotely to do with them, in fact. Eighteen spears? How many of them exist in all? No one knows. Especially as there is only one authentic one, of course. That all adds to the mystery, don't you think? Yeah. Well, uh, please leave us, monsieur. His Eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. They are doing some nasty stuff here. And I kind of don't know what is it all about. But I'm glad that we stopped and listened to them. Can I open the room? I can't. It's alright. So find out the origin of the sword left by your mother. Maybe it's downstairs. We gotta find some servants and ask them what's up with the sword. If there are like uh, this kind of painting or a statue or whatever in this mansion. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Yeah, I don't have it. Unlock the second one. 
Carmelite water. That's it. Oh my gosh. Royal jelly. What else? Mysterious note. But there's some... I don't know. That's weird. Uh, find out the origin. Here's the servant. I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. Could you perhaps help me? What can I do for you, sir? Where did this sword come from? From the garden, sir. That sword belongs to one of the statues. Yeah, in the but garden. I don't think I Thank can go much. outside. Don't mention it, sir. Or can I? I didn't know that I could leave uh, the manor. Oh, that's outside. Wow, the I've never seen this came place. From this garden, but what could it have been used for? Decorations. Unfortunately, I cannot search it. What do you want? Well, Monsieur de Richet, what brings you here? A statue. To tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about you. Eh. It's rare for guests to wander about in the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. Me too. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm listening, I'll be leaving bitch. now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. I want to be know. Seeing you. Opportunity. Tell me, aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed a cat, Monsieur de Richet. I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing if I didn't already know the consequences. See you later. What happened to you, Monsieur? It's time for me to assume the consequences of my choices. I've sold my soul to the devil. Now it's time to pay. Who's the devil? Why you sold he your soul? How much? Jesus, so many questions. Here's the sword. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage, if he defeated the monster. She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find I his way back I think I should just lab, follow it. Which was famous for being unsolvable. But once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. Turns out heroes are not what they once were. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Are you kidding me? If I've got it wrong. Wait. I got it wrong? What? Motherfucker. It's probably the wrong statue. No, 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 girl. You are you not supposed to kill Ariadne. Ariadne. Pull out Try the sword. Else. Yeah, I don't want to put uh, the sword in Ariadne. Fucking labyrinth. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of Harry Potter. Triwizard Tournier. This guy. I think I should put uh, the knife in this guy. Or maybe not. Who looks like he's missing a knife? No, this guy is cute. Let's leave him alone. That's supposed to be some warrior. Or a bad guy. No, I don't want to kill her. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. 
Obviously. What is that? Looks like a sort of opening mechanism. Well... Study. Lord Mortimer, I bet it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole in, at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Yes, you Damn will. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Right? Oh my god. Lord Mortimer, oh, wait, wait. booby-trapped. I already did that. Please, can we skip it? Fingers. I already made this sure choice. Get I'll, I'll get pricked. Jesus. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Okay, okay. Read the message on the it's flag. It's the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. Truth. We gotta stab the person who has the truth. Who's the truth? Earth symbol. Where's the truth? Is this guy the truth? Who are you? Medusa? Who are you? Theseus. Son of Aegeus. He's the one who slayed the Minotaur. Ah, uh, remember. I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. He killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. In short, Yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Not is the crack. Mother no. managed to solve this enigma. Is this the truth? Minos, son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. There's a crack in everybody's statue, so excuse me. It's a Medusa. Here you go! Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, He's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. Asterion I'm gonna put Pasiphae my Minos, sword in this guy, because he already has two swords. Why not three? Third time of is a course, lucky charm, here strange, you go. It often happens. It wasn't he who was punished, it was his wife. She had to mate with a bull, no less. From that union, Asterion was born, who everyone knows as the famous Minotaur. Yes, 100%. Minos. He was shut up in the labyrinth so he could never leave. And, as if that wasn't bad enough, he died by the hand of a hero desperate to restore his reputation. This statue has a crack in it. Right. We'll soon see. Slay! You see, now it looks good. It should be three. I just really hope I won't mess it up. Otherwise, I'm fucked. Who are you? Icarus. Well, Icarus has nothing to do with the truth. The son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, he came unstuck and he fell to his death. Pity. If I remember rightly, Icarus was the son of Daedalus. He found himself confined to the labyrinth with his father after his father betrayed Minos. And his father's plan to escape from the labyrinth wasn't any more successful. Man, that kid was jinxed. <laughs> well, let's keep going. Oh my going. gosh. He's nasty. Okay, let's try. We're ready. Please, God, let it be okay. Let it be okay, please. If I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Ah! Ah! 
fuck? Oh, what's wrong? Fuck. Either I'm imagining things, or my hand was pricked. It had poison on it. My head. I feel hot. No, it's okay. You don't have it no more. But why would you have Mysterium. a sword somewhere else? Blood. What a, what a fucking. Let's do Minnows. here. I just don't know. The crack is in the region of the heart. Well, let's kill the king then. Because maybe he wants to be the king. And that's why we're killing the other guy, the other king. Please God, please God, I'm begging, begging you. What? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's kill the king. It's bloody. Follow the trail left by your mother. Well, now we can follow it because the trail is like obvious. It's blood. Ah! Don't fall, don't oh. fall. It's a vision, it's a vision. Again? <laughs> Supernatural. You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to- Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now, get out! What? <gasps> they have so many stuff. <sighs> what was that? That's Hiding. the third time in three days. <sighs> so many mysteries, so much stuff... ...that's not clear. Hidden. Everybody is playing their own game. Boy, I saw this blood ever since Let's you first you're, opened you're it. In there, mother. Obviously, she's there. I mean, maybe not because she doesn't have a hand, and there's a handprint. It's probably someone else. Follow the trail. Looks creepy. A fragment of amber. Bandages. Hmm. Someone's been patching themselves up. Mama! Like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This All is right. silk. She must have used her own clothes. Are we gonna find Mama naked? These bandages are pretty basic. She'll be lucky if she doesn't get an infection. Mama! What you? Oh shit, that's no Mama! Who this? A servant. Bitch. Everyone is dying here. Fool. My shoes are wet. Don't tell me mama killed him. Don't Damn tell it. me mama Mother, killed him. Now what's happened? Is it mama behind me? Oh shit. It's Mortimer, it's Mortimer. Ah! They're gonna hit me. Fuck! Don't move! Mama! Wait, I'm not armed. Who are you? Bitch, that's me. Your Good son. Good God, mother! What have you- Tell me who you are! Mom, what the fuck? Mom, bitch, are you blind or what? Success. I eavesdropped on the conversation between Piaggi and Wolner. I convinced Piaggi to reveal some important information to me. I inspired Peru to trust me. I succeeded in opening the entrance to the crypt. I found my mother in the crypt. 
No failed stuff. Good job, Calvin, darling. Why Mama is acting like this? She probably lost her mind. Jesus. Logic. No, vigilance. Now we have vigilance, we have logic. Good job, good job. What else do I want to do? Manipulation. Yes. Into the lion's den. Achievement of life. All right, this is it for episode number two, guys. That was so freaking cool. We finally found Mama, but I have no idea what's up. Like, she looks like she's either blind or mad or whatever. No idea. Next week, next Saturday, we're gonna play episode number three. Uh, it's gonna be the conclave face to something I cannot see it because you can barely read but I'm excited I'm super excited oh look this is the dungeon alrighty this story is still so intriguing and it only gets crazier and I really cannot wait to see more truth and what is happening so hopefully y'all enjoyed it Thank you all for being here. Thank you for helping me. It's so much fun uh, to investigate and do the research together. Thank you, Patricia. And everybody have a great rest of the day. Tomorrow, we're starting this Rockstar game. It's called Bully. And I'm pretty sure that it's so much fun. So, be there. And yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thank you. Have a great rest of the day. Mwah. Bye, everybody.